to all of you participating in the 9th All Poland Congress of Women that are meeting in Poznan, I extend my greetings and best wishes for a very rewarding gathering. I so wish I could be with you in person as I was for the very first Congress that took place in Warsaw. I remember how impressed I was. You turned out in great numbers from all over the country, from major cities and small towns, women who were active in civil society, the private sector and government, all of you committed to a common agenda. You spanned generations. Some of you occupied high-level positions, and many of you were activists in your local communities. You represented all of Poland. And this has been your strength over the years. You forged a common cause, progress for women in Poland. And over those years, you have demonstrated your clout. You have been women on the front lines of change. And you have been an example to women all over the world. I wrote a book called Fast Forward, how we can, if we all come together, use our power, and each of us has power in whatever position we hold, to use that power for purpose, for women's economic, political, and social progress. If we come together in this common purpose as you do, there's no telling what difference you will make. In the book I wrote about how you had come together across political, professional, and ideological lines to foster solidarity among yourselves and progress for women across the country. You were and are an example of power for purpose. In recent times, you have had to mount a concerted effort to protect women's rights, and you have worked hard to do so. Today, you continue to issue what you have called in your program an alert for women's rights. Gender equality is the great moral imperative of the 21st century. At the UN Fourth World Conference that took place almost two decades ago, the world spoke with one voice and declared, women's rights are human rights, not something separate from or marginal to human rights. Women are human. Women are entitled to the same rights accorded to every human being. Gender equality is essential to advancing human rights, democracy, to achieving economic prosperity, to ending conflicts and building sustainable peace. And today there is a plethora of research, of data, from the World Bank to the World Economic Forum to the kind of research we're doing here at Georgetown University's Institute for Women, Peace, and Security. This research supports the proposition. It is an evidence-based case that it is both the right thing to do and the smart thing to do to invest in women and women's participation. It is both a moral and strategic imperative. The United Nations adoption of the 2030 Agenda for the Sustainable Development Goals includes women's empowerment and gender equality as one of the key goals. And all of us know that it is an integrative goal, that it is essential to the fulfillment of all of the others. So it is a simple fact that no country, not yours, not mine, can get ahead if it leaves half of its people behind, its women. And no country can grow its economy and create jobs, address climate change, or a range of societal challenges without the full participation of women. And when women make progress in the economy, in politics, in social and cultural life, all of society makes progress. Every woman has the right to education and health care, to be free from violence, to have her legal rights protected, and to participate fully in the political and economic life of their countries, as you have these issues on your agenda. 
And as you note in that agenda, this is not a time to fold your umbrella, but rather a time to continue to address the persistent obstacles that hold women back, hold them back in advancing to become all that they can be and to fulfill the potential that each woman has. So ever onward, dear friends in Poland, all the best to each of you.